In 2008, Quanta introduced a laser that would revolutionize the tattoo removal industry, the Q plus C. Today, we're very excited to introduce the evolution of that device, the Evo Q plus series. With less than a two minute warm up time and a 10 inch Gorilla Glass touch screen that you can use with gloves on. This is the loading screen and you can see how quickly this device spools up and is ready for use. The main start screen where your operator will touch start, it will take you into the main user interface with a very intuitive software that shows the three different wavelengths, the three different emission modes, the adjustable fluence, the spot size, the session counter, the rep rate, and the ready button. You can adjust your fluence and hit ready. It's going to ask you to wear your safety goggles. It will ask you to verify that the spot size that is detected is the right spot size. And you'll notice there's about a 15 second spool up time for the laser to be ready to fire. Once the button is orange, it is ready to fire. To go back into standby, it'll wait just a second, and then it allows you to change your wavelength. It's gonna ask you if you wanna change the source. You click yes. We've clicked 532, which is color-coded green, and of course, all the same adjustability. Ask you to wear safety glasses, verify the spot size, Yes, we have the three millimeter spot size on. And again, just a few seconds before the machine is ready to fire. Go back to standby to change wavelengths. We're gonna go to the Ruby wavelength, ask you to change source. And the Ruby is of course color coded as red. And again, when you hit the ready button, it's going to ask you to always wear the safety glasses, verify your spot size, and a, just a few seconds to change in between any of the wavelengths chosen. And when it's ready, you'll hear a beep, and that means that the laser is ready to fire. Back to 1064 and looking at the different emission modes, we were in the Q-switch, nanosecond pulse duration. Now we're going to OptiPulse and Photothermal. Then you go to the favorite screen where you can save different settings at your leisure. And back to the main screen and the start screen. Here's the articulated arm and handpiece. And that's where the handpiece actually shows what spot size it is and the two buttons you need to depress to change a handpiece. Slide on the new handpiece firmly until it clicks onto those two buttons. Now to change the other optics with our patented OptiBeam technology, you simply slide this out from a round spot to a square spot, back in, and reattach the handpiece. In the front of the machine, you have the service area where you simply have software upgrades. You have the Twain connector where you can connect an IPL handpiece. To do that, you simply have to take off the protective cover and then in this case, you would put on an IPL and snap it back firmly into place, and then the IPL emission verification port. Here you have the three position, 360 degree rotatable casters. So you have a lock position, a free position, and a directional position. Air intakes have been moved from the bottom to the front and the side increasing the airflow and decreasing the amount of debris 
and dust taken off from the floor. If using an IPL, the IPL can safely be stored in the IPL holster. As we move up the device, we move to the reinforced aiming beam with a telephone cable type cord, which will reduce the amount of failures and aiming beam issues. The back of the articulated arm has a very easy to adjust counterweight, which adjusts the pullback on the arm itself. Now we move to the back of the laser where there have been several improvements. First, there are bumpers that protect your drywall. Additionally, all the main connectors have been moved up behind the bar to help protect each of the connectors from the foot switch to the fill kit to the interlock. Additionally, we've had 50% greater heat exchange capacity with greater fans to uh, dissipate the heat, allowing the laser to run uh, at a higher power and faster rep rates. The foot switch, again, as it's up underneath the bar, um, it's not going to get knocked or uh, damaged in any way. Um, the foot switch also has had improvements. There is now a bar instead of a cover, allowing people with bigger feet the easier access to the foot switch itself. The foot switch also now has the unique capability of being able to go into standby or ready mode from the foot switch, not just the user interface software screen. And then obviously the ability to simply depress the foot switch. Last but not least, let's not forget the emergency stop switch, the number one reason for all laser related service calls.